Hey guys, Baby 20 back again with a very different type of video. This is a response to YouTube's update with their dislike button. If you guys not have seen this video yet, I'll leave a link below. It's a very serious update that actually goes in effect tomorrow, I believe. But they made the executive decision to go ahead and just remove the dislike button. Now, they say they're not actually removing the dislike button. They're just making it to where the dislikes are no longer shown to the public. Only the creator can see this and they actually have to go out of their way to see it. It's in the analytics. It's hidden in the analytics. So we're going to talk about this because I think this is like kind of silencing the critics out there and it's kind of like not giving us a voice like we should be. This is YouTube. YouTube broadcast yourself. You're supposed to put yourself out there and people are supposed to leave comments. People are supposed to like the video, dislike the video. You're supposed to interact. And I honestly don't understand why dislikes are such a problem now if you go ahead and watch this video they say the reason why they're removing the dislikes are because i guess people are being attacked i didn't know hitting a dislike button was attacking someone but i guess now in 2021 that is a thing supposedly there's groups of people out there that are targeting smaller creators and just bombarding them with dislikes i got news for you if anybody out there wants to bombard me with dislikes Please do, because whether you have positive interaction or negative interaction, publicity is publicity. It doesn't matter if it's negative or positive. It helps the algorithm and it helps your video. It helps it get put on the recommended page. It gives you more views. It gives you more clicks. And heck, if you're monetizing your video, you earn more revenue. So I don't understand what the problem with the bombarding of dislikes are, because who cares? Interaction is interaction, whether it's negative, whether it's positive, it's interaction. I love getting a ton of dislikes. I don't care. It helps promote the video, believe it or not. These trolls that go out there and try to bombard your video with dislikes, they're still interacting with the video. They're still giving you watch time hours. They're still giving you revenue, whether it's positive or negative. In the end of the day, you're still getting clicks, views. It doesn't matter. So I don't understand YouTube's thinking here where they're like, oh, it's harassment. People are targeting people. If you upload a video to YouTube and you cannot handle someone hitting the dislike button on your video, you should not be uploading a video to YouTube. You should not be uploading. You should not have a voice here on the platform if you can't handle the criticism. I mean, YouTube is a place where you go and you put yourself out there and you're going to get criticism. Yes, you can turn off the comments on your videos. And yes, you can even turn the ratings off on your videos to where people can't even like or dislike your video. So I don't even know why this is a problem to begin with, because if people have a problem with people disliking their videos, turn that option off. Another thing that makes zero sense, if YouTube wanted to install this new feature to where the dislikes are no longer visible by the public, why didn't they give the creator the option? Why don't they give people like me that like to see the dislike versus like ratio the option to leave that on and the people that are so easily offended and people that don't want to see the dislikes, give them a little toggle button to where they can turn that on and they can go ahead and uh, not see it. It makes zero sense. I don't know why YouTube is making it to where they're stripping the voices from the viewer. This is for the viewer. It's not for the creator. The dislikes and likes are for the viewer. Yes, it lets the creator know whether people like or dislike their video, but if you click on a video, like right now, if you go click on a video and you see there's 10,000 dislikes and only 100 likes, well, guess what? That video is either misleading information, it's a scam video, or it's something that is not any way tied with the title of that video, and you know right away, okay, I probably shouldn't watch this video because you can just tell by the dislikes. Now that they remove that information, now you're sitting here watching this video wondering like, what the heck? And then yes, you can go ahead and hit the dislike button, but at that point it doesn't matter because no one can see the dislikes. The only one that can see the dislikes are the creator. And the creator can't even see it unless he goes out of his way, he or she goes out of their way to go into the analytics in YouTube studio to find the dislikes. And honestly, I don't really do that. I don't really go through my analytics on a daily basis and looking at likes and dislikes. I usually just go to the video and you can just see it. Now you can no longer see that. Now you have to go to the analytics and the public can no longer see it. Makes zero sense. What this is going to do in the long run, what's it going to do? Yes, it's going to make people not dislike videos anymore because what's the point? No one can see it. 
yeah, the creator can still see it, but if no one can see it, it kind of doesn't matter because you're putting information out there that no one can use except the creator. And obviously the creator doesn't want to see it anyways because people are so offended nowadays. I don't understand that. So it's just a dislike button. My God, I don't understand. It's just a stupid dislike button. Someone please help me out. Leave a comment below and let me know. Am I living in like an alternate universe here to where now pressing a dislike button is now offending somebody when that's been a thing the entire time. It's been a feature of YouTube the entire time. Now the feature is going to be missing starting tomorrow. You can still click it, but it doesn't matter. The, the dislike button no longer matters. What it's going to do is make it to where people don't interact with your videos anymore. The trolls out there that used to interact with your videos are no longer going to interact because now it doesn't matter because they can't show the dislikes. So now they're not going to go ahead and give you that interaction, which is now going to make it to where you get no more views. It's going to make it to where now YouTube isn't pushing you in the algorithm because now no one's really interacting with the videos. And I think it's honestly going to make people not want to like the video anymore either because if all you're showing are the likes... What makes you want to like it? Because now there's no like versus dislike ratio. It makes no sense. This is bad for the viewer, bad for the creator, bad for YouTube itself. I'm telling you, this is not going to be good. I know this seems like something minor, but this is like YouTube censoring the viewer's voice from not showing dislikes. It, it, I don't know. Leave a comment below. Let me know. Watch the video. I'm going to have a link to this video in the description below, let me know if you guys think I'm overreacting because I honestly, I'm very passionate about this if you can't tell. And I don't think I'm overreacting at all. I think it's a shame that YouTube is doing this. They should have just at least made it an option. And now it's just, you know, you're just censored. You are now censored. YouTube has turned into a place of censorship and I'm sick of it.